Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and this time I am back with my Uber Chic um, Set 3 plate. I did want to say that some of those areas when I was trying to clean up that plate that I had a hard time stamping did stamp. This one was one of them, and I think down in here, that little fine one. So I did clean it off a little bit better, but I don't know. It kind of tore up the paper towel that I was cleaning it with. But this go around, we're going to try this again. And the color polish that I have on is P.S. I Love You. This is a Morgan Taylor shade. That is the lavender. And the black is um, Liquid Leather by China Glaze. And these are the plates that I'm going to be just taking a few test stamps from. I'm going to do much like I did in the previous video and just pick up some but I do want to try these two black ones first with this Mundo de Unis Lilac number 16 it's almost the same color as what I got on we're gonna see I would like to start with one of these sets of words from this plate and I don't have top coat on my polish so we're gonna see how this is gonna go And then I think there was one more from the one side I wanted to try. And I know this polish is kind of thick. I'm going to be using the same little stamper that is wanting to fall apart tonight. So we're going to see how this goes. And this is like... I haven't really been using these a lot and I probably should try to use them more. If I start doing a lot of looks, with black polish, I don't know if that's going to work or not. Mm. Let's see. I don't know if I got a clear stamping or not. I got some of that, but not all of that. I don't know. I think this polish is a little bit too thick. And it's kind of cold in here. So. I'm going to clean that off. So we're going to try that again in a little bit, but I am mostly going to be picking up with this Blackout by Rika. And again, this is number 16 Lilac. It might be too thick for the words, so I will stick to um, the other images for this one. And then we'll get started. Also, if I didn't say, in addition to these demos tonight, I want to be demoing these, what were these called? Um, the blogger plates. I have one by, is it Colors to Carol? I only started off with three. I think there might have been a sale, and I know you can hardly see that, but I'm going to try to show you. And then I got the Beaching Nails one. And I know there are some more on there. I want these three, weren't the only three, but they were popping up like a few sets at a time. And then, of course, you know, I had to get the nail stamp for fun one for this lace here. And I love the looks that she's created with this plate. And congratulations to her and all of the ladies. Because I'm sure this was a wonderful honor for them. And these are just beautiful. So now we're going to get on with stamping from... What did I say? This is the third set of the Uber Chic plates. And I only have set one and set three... I believe I may be interested in set four and possibly six, um, but I really do like the first set, and I wasn't too crazy about the second set, but I like these a whole lot, and I like these for these cancer parts down here, um, a lot of the pictures, I think on this one, right here in particular, is this image. I'm anxious to possibly try these plates out with those polishes that I have that are like the Formula X Ombre and the Morgan Taylor um, and the OPI um, with the silver. I'm anxious to try these plates out with those particular polishes. Maybe stamping in silver, gold, or black. And I like 
this image right here. And then, of course, on this one, like I said, the words, the butterflies. Um, Where'd it go? <laughs> this little swirly right here. I like this. Okay, so we are going to get started. And I'm going to try to clean where these words were. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the words in black. Because maybe that mood I did in this polish was too thick. Not really getting those words to pick up there just yet. And I've cleaned this off. I'm going to try the other side. And I am using my Rika Black Polish. So, I don't know. See, that's not picking up too good right there. So I'm going to try something else. And then I might have to work on that one too. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and I'm going to try another image. Let's see. Try these ladybugs. I didn't know where these were coming from. When I saw these on some looks, and I like those a lot. Okay, why do I keep losing that? Let's see if it'll stamp or if I've let it go too long. So there. I don't know why this is just coming out of here. It's supposed to be sticky. So I would think that it would hold in there. So let's try another one and see what happens. Going to go over here for the same plate. And what plate am I testing from here? I believe I am testing from plate three. I do like that I can use my pads on these plates and it doesn't tear them up because the other plate that I was using, um, the Epipola plate, trying to use these pads on that plate was a nightmare. And that's the lavender. So that does kind of match that. That is the lavender. Or lilac. I keep calling it lavender. It's called lilac. Let's see. Was there another one I wanted to try in that color? Let's see. I'm going to go over here. Okay, I'm going to try these. I didn't get all of that. But and I didn't do that very good. Let's see. I don't know who that was just knocking on my door. People around here, they just knock on your door. They don't even have to know you. I'm kind of bummed about those words, but I'm going to keep working on them. Let's see here. What else can we try? This one kind of looks like um, fireworks.
fireworks, ink blots. Here there are some polka dots. I have not personally stamped any polka dots, but I need to. There are so many looks that I've seen with polka dots, and I didn't do that very good. I might need to move to a different stamper. We'll give that one more go, and we will see. But I haven't worked with polka dots, and there's plenty of looks. The polka dots that I like. I don't know if maybe that's too shallow. Let's see. There's a few more on here I'd like to get. And let's try this one with the strawberry. It's got some dots on it. Maybe. Okay, see those picked up better. Except for my strawberry head did not. Hmm. from this plate. I'm going to go for this thick branch down here and then we're going to move on to plate 302. You can see that right there? A really, really thick there. Okay, now we're going to move on. I'm going to clean up here. We're going to move to plate 302. Okay, and again, this was the third plate from the set. So now we're going to move to plate two, which is this one. And, we are going, and I'm probably going to do the exact same thing if this gets to be like 20 minutes or so. I will stop. Sure that one very good. I don't think I'm gonna put that one on. I don't know if it's the corners of these images or what the deal is, but I think I'd like to try that one one more time because I know that was what was going on with the sissy and cc plates because they were along the corner. But then I figure maybe if I put more polish on here. Yeah, see, I don't know. I'm hoping it is not these plates. I haven't seen any videos where anybody said they've been having any trouble with these plates. I'm going to turn it this way. See if that makes a difference. Because I know that this polish is not old. Like that one time I had polish that was old. I did just get a nick in there with the corner of that card, but it did pick up better. Okay, now I'm going to move on. I'm going to try this image right here. This one doesn't really have any spaces, but it does let the color of the polish show through. I'd like to do this with a foil type look, and I hope you can see that. My phone isn't very clear tonight. But I like this because it lets the image shine through, even though it's a solid color. Okay. Another one is this one. I 
It's not very good. I'm going to try the one above it and then I'm going to go back to that one and see. Because I really like this one too. And I see that one right there is very good. And that's a good one. Kind of like for people that like to do those wallpaper looks. Still having trouble with that one. I'm going to have to work on it. I put a lot of polish there. Let me go down here in these flowers along the bottom portion. the polish shine through. So I have not really used this stamper a lot. I do feel that certain stampers just may pick up better than others. And I am using my plastic scraper, which this scraper doesn't work on all plates. Like that. I didn't get that on there very good, but I do like that. Yeah, I don't think you can see that very good. Okay. I am going to move on. And this one here is the plate that I started off with. 302, I believe. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is 301. This is the butterfly from the set three plate 01. And then we're going to try this one down here. And this one, I've got one blank nail left. That didn't take at all. Let me try that again. There you go. I do like that. Now I'm just going to be picking some up on the stamper here because I got no more room. So let me try some of these little words in the middle. Mm, I might need to learn how to scrape differently. Because I've seen other people with these words and theirs pick up. So... definitely have to work with those words. Now I don't really do the dots. I like them but I haven't used any of my plates with the dots on them. And again this is here along up in the corner. Nah, not so great. Try this at a different angle. 
I guess the angle made the difference, but I still had streaks there. That was my fault. So I guess that's what I need to learn how to do sometimes is try a different angle. I have heard that that works. But I will definitely be working with some of these. And I really want my words at the bottom to work because they are one of the reasons I got this plate. What I also like is these flowers here. Mm. I might have to use a different polish. Sometimes that makes it. Here's the light bulbs. Little piece of a corner there. The butterflies. I'm going to try a couple more. In the words. That's about as clear as I've been able to make them be so far. So. Right. right there. I'm going to try one more. I really like this one right here. It looks like a mix of colors. Like if you did a gradient and put this on top or in white or black. I really do like this. It's just kind of a mixed look. But that is it for this set. And again, this was an Uber Chic 3, and I definitely need to work on the words a little bit more because I'm not really good at that. So I will come back and probably do the queen plates. Probably do the queen plates. So until the next time, everyone have a great evening.